Greetings viewers, welcome to my channel, and here is an update on the electric brewery. I have been able to get the sink plumbed in, and the sink has been sitting there for almost a year, just because it hasn't really been too much of a priority, And but now that it's put together, I'm really excited to go and use it. Having a sink is maybe the most important tool for any brewery because now I no longer have to go upstairs to cool off my boiling wort in order to bring it up to the kitchen sink. Now I have a sink right here that can do just that. And I had done the PVC work here for the drain side. Thankfully, the waste stack was right there. I had to get all the necessary parts to get that done. And then I also had to purchase the pump which is meant for working against gravity since we are below grade. And I did do some of the PEX work here to, for the supply lines, but I did not tie it into the house. It goes up around here and finally goes to this setup here. I had a professional come by. He's actually a friend of mine. He's an HVAC and plumber. I bought the parts. These are all pro press fittings, not shark bite. And he did this professionally. He has a four thousand dollar press tool that he installed this here no leaks and i am very happy to report that there are no leaks and it works amazing i also if you notice in my previous videos i had a fan here i sold that and i actually got the internal fan that was meant for this zephyr hood and it is the 1100 cfm double fan inside Everything that you see in the brewery is running off of the module that I've built, this controller, all the power for the hood, for the lights, and for the pump for the sink all runs there. I have a pump here for my recirculation, although I think eventually I'll upgrade this to uh, this works great for a small five gallon batch, but it obviously wouldn't be very good for something bigger, like a 10 gallon or bigger. Everything is on this GFCI. So we'll go ahead and turn that on really quick. It's got the cooling fans inside. We got our light. And now the brewery is ready to run. And again, that pump is running off of the brewery controller as well. And the good thing with this setup now is that I have hot or cold water. over there and no leaks very happy so in the coming weeks i'm going to be doing some beer kits i have an irish red i have a hefweizen and i have a specialized s'mores beer i'm going to give myself a try on that i hope that it comes out okay but just wanted to show the brewery and 99 percent complete i am going to probably add some lighting over here for the sink i have some old track lighting i'm going to repurpose put some led lights in there so i have more than enough illumination and that should really complete this whole setup here i'm very happy for how it turned out if there's any questions please let me know but thanks again for watching and cheers guys